Tyler, what about Tiffany for this role inspired you? It's, well, to, first of all, she's incredibly talented. And five years ago, she worked on my show, uh, If Loving You Is Wrong, for a season. And to have this moment for it's e really easy for me to write for her because all I do is write Medea 30 years ago. These are the, This is what Medea would have been if she was 30 years old. Before she got saved. <laughs> no, she never got saved. She never got she saved. She never got saved. She always making reference to the Bible. Though, but like never she... got saved. But never got saved. She, didn't go, she said she'll go to church once they get a smoking section. <laughs> <laughs> That's about a bar to smoke and say she'll be right there at the altar. <laughs> Talk to me about that. That laugh is great, man. That's that like, laugh is great. That's when I'm really tickled. That tickled me. <laughs> this has been all day. All day long. Uh, okay. Talk to me about assembling the cast and sort of piecing everyone together and then being on uh, on, the, uh, on the production and with all the cast. Let me tell you why I appreciate her so much because where she is right now, she didn't have to take my call. She's got, she's got a lot of options. So I really respect and appreciate you taking my call. There's a lot of people that I worked with in this business who are not returning my calls anymore because every day everybody's working or they're busy. So I really, really respected that. So everybody I called, they, they said yes and were ready to go right away. Tiffany, for you, did you know Tika Sumter before this? Did you guys have a relationship um, you met, when did you first meet? What was that experience like? Um, the first time I met Tika was when we, our first day of shooting. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing because she is, I mean, just like one of my sisters. And I've watched her over the years. But, and I've always said, like, one day I'm going to work with her. And then when he was like, Tika's going to be doing I was like, great, perfect. And then we finally got to work together. And it was like that. Like Are you instantly. vibrating? I am. I'm sorry. I bring my toys with me. Let's keep me relaxed. <laughs> I'm gonna go to you, Tyler, on this one. Please. Um, been doing this for two decades. Keep Talk to me about being constantly creative and driven and motivated. How do you stay that way? Well, you know, for the first time when I got my shot, I was like, her, I'm gonna take everything. I was hungry. I was making it all happen. And but but unfortunately, and I'm hoping this doesn't happen. I know it won't happen to her because she's very present at every moment. I missed 10 years of my life because I was just busy and grinding on the road working and I missed so much. But but now where I am in, at almost 50, it's about legacy and what I'm leaving for my son, what I'm showing people. You know, 25,000 people came through the studio to work last month alone, came through the gates, 25,000 cars. So, so I'm just trying to make sure that um, it's about the legacy and going forward. And Tiffany, last question, which we've done this before already. Um, what about this film made you want to work with this guy? Well, the the fact that he called me to do it was a very amazing. And he said it was writing it for me. And I was like, oh, for me, that's so cute. And let me read the script, though, to see if it's appropriate. Yeah, and then yeah, when does I Does it fit in what I'm trying to yes, do? Yes, I mean, is it a part of, is it in my wheelhouse? Let me ask you about this, this is grueling schedule. Yes. How long will we be shooting yes. nobody's food? Yes, yes. and he said 10 days. I said, boy, I'm, sign me up. I had spit and everything just like that. Sign me up. Here I come. And it was amazing. <laughs> Right. I think you got some of yeah, I exactly. Well, I want to get you wet. I like it. Oh, <laughs> right. I